TurboZone is presented by Team MMPI, Toyota, Isuzu, Yamaha, Suzuki, Ford, Shark Accessories, Clineco, Fifi Hotel and Beach Resort in Morong, Bataan. Welcome for a fabulous event this afternoon. We are here for inauguration of uh, the newest of the four dealerships in Ford Philippines Group, Ford Marikina. This is our 49th facility across the Ford Philippines. This also comes in with uh, the latest identity from the corporate standpoint, from a retail perspective that it looks towards the customer. So I welcome you all joining Grazing the occasion. Marikina as an as a economy hub is very fast and emerging. It's important that we have right representation of our brand in this part of the city. So from that standpoint, it is going to contribute to the overall growth of the Ford brand across Manila and uh, Philippines in general. And uh, Ford Marikina will be an important part of it. Our facility is ready to deliver all your automotive needs with almost 11,000 square meters of space over four floors, an eight vehicle showroom display, and 26 service bays, including express service, body and paint, and two interactive bays. Our showroom has also been designed in line with Ford's global dealership guidelines, which aims to offer customers a better dealership environment and experience. Ford Marikina is the newest of the facility that is open in the region, if not just Philippines. And uh, what is more important is that uh, it comes with the latest retail identity for Ford, where some of the elements that you see here is designed in such a manner to make sure customers are feeling more convenient with large open spaces, easier places for discussion, uh, access to Wi-Fi, uh, easier engagement with consumers, and also the service facility which is open and inviting. So it kind of celebrates the latest customer space, which is more savvy, more technologically advanced, and more engaging. So it, it connotes to all of those expectations very well. It's going to enhance the Ford brand image definitely because we have another representation, another footprint in Philippines from the Ford standpoint, so that engages customers even more than we did previously. So as I said, it's our 49 facility, one of the largest with the latest identity from the Ford standpoint. Ford Marikina is open for business and uh, it serves the consumers from a range of all products, right from Ecosport all the way to, to Mustang and Expedition. We have a great product within the Ranger space. Raptor is an exciting product and you, you have the display out there. And, uh, um, the newest edition in the Ford stable, Ford Marikina being one of that, has the newest set of people working here, fully trained by the Ford's competent trainers, and they are ready for business. And uh, it's going to be an exciting journey for the Ford Marikina team. We are in Real Quezon for our tree planting activity of Honda Foundation Incorporated. In line with the commitment of Honda of preserving our environment and to leave blue sky for our children, Honda Foundation Incorporated partners with Haribon Foundation for a 10-year activity. So it started in 2010. So the plan is to plant 50,000 seeds to 20 hectares of land. And today is our 10th year, so we already fulfilled our commitment. 
and we are able to plant about 50,000 seeds in 36 hectares of land. So we would like to take this opportunity to thank our partners, the Hariban Foundation, and also our donors, Honda Parts Manufacturing Incorporated, Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated, Honda Philippines Incorporated, and Honda Trading Philippines. So we also would like to thank the volunteers from our suppliers, from our customers, from our dealers and our riders. Also the community and the LGU who supported us throughout this active tenure activities. We are the Haribon Foundation and Honda Foundation and the Haribon Foundation are long-time partners in conserving the environment. So we are celebrating our 10th year anniversary of partnership and actually Honda Foundation has already accomplished 50,000 native seedlings planted in the different sites of the Forest for Life movement of Haribon Foundation. Every year po namin ginagawa to and every year naman ay nagtatanim po ng 5,000 seedlings or more ang Honda Foundation Incorporated. We would like to thank, of course, the Honda Foundation for the support that they are giving the Haribon Foundation and all its local partners. With their support, they are not only restoring the forest, but they are providing livelihood to our local partners. We would like to encourage everyone to protect our environment so that we can continuously provide a blue sky to our children. So thank you and Hopefully, you can still support us for the next activity of Honda Foundation Incorporated. We are officially turned over 17 units of Isuzu PUB to the Metro Valenzuela Transport Service Cooperative, which will be operated at Valenzuela City. We are very honored to be providing them the, their first modern PUBs. We believe that this is going to be a step toward an upgraded and greener transport system for Metro Valencia Transport Service Corporation. Nagagalak po kami dahil ang finally ang isang major transport cooperative na mayroong apat na ang uh, jeepney ay nag-decide na to go into modernization. Napakaganda po dito because ang goal po ng gobyerno sa modernization is makapag-provide ng makabagong uh, transportation kung saan ang mga pasahero ay uh, komportable safe air condition katulad nito at uh, dumadating sa taktang oras at hindi naiinip sa traffic. Marami pong mga gagandang features ang makabagong PUBs na tulad nito. Ito po is class 3 kung saan ang upuan ay uh, sideways. Kaya pong maka-accommodate nito ng 23 passengers sitting and standing. Pero kung during rush hour, kung kinakailangan po, ang gitna po nating alley ay uh, kaya pang tumayo dahil ang height requirement po is 1.75. Provided din po ng napakaraming accessories para maging komportable ang pagbiyahe ng mga mananaka. Isa na po doon ang tinatawag nating beat card or auto fare collection system kung magkasan. Hindi na po kailangan maningil yung driver ng pasahero. Tap in, tap out lang po para sa mga pasahero. Meron din po siyang sa likod natin, nakaka nakikita nyo, meron siyang television para hindi nakakainap during biyahe. Meron din po siyang maraming camera. May apat siyang camera, meron siyang dash cam at may mga camera po siyang nakatutok sa mga pasahero. Meron po siyang GPS or tracking device para na monitor po ng uh, cooperative po na saan yung mga location ng jeep nila. Meron siyang Wi-Fi, meron po siyang speed limiter, meron siyang automatic door. So marami pong convenient features ang ating PUB. Ang Metrobal po ay kumuha ng labing pitong PUB at sila po ay bibiyahe mula dito sa lugar na ito, Valenzuela. At ang kanilang mga jeepney ay bigayin mo na Malanday to Pierre, Malanday to Divisoria, Malanday to Recto, Malanday to Santa Cruz, at may kawayan to Monumento. So, initial lang po ito at uh, in-expect po namin sa mga darating na buwan ay uh, 
Madadagdagan po ito dahil uh, sila po ay nakipag-usap na rin sa Isuzu again. I'd like to take this opportunity to really thank Metrobal for trusting our uh, modern PUBs. Sinisiguro po namin na uh, as Isuzu, being your responsible partner, tutulungan po namin kayo. Uh, we will provide very strong after sales support. Moro lang po ang ating mga piyesa. Itetrain po namin ang iyong mekaniko para sa mga basic uh, PMS. Magtuturo din po kami ang VBA ng training tungkol sa fuel economy para po ma-maximize natin ang paggamit ng ating makabagong PUBs. Maraming salamat po. Today we are now here in Bacolod, the city of smiles. Bacolod is the second stop of the Visayas leg of the PUB caravan. We're very happy to participate in all the caravans that had took place uh, since we started this a few months ago. We started in Luzon, Northern Luzon as the first leg, Mindanao was the second leg, and now we're now here in the Visayan region for the third leg of the PUB caravan. As Isuzu, we're very happy to support this uh, caravan because we want to showcase to all the uh, Filipinos all over the Philippines about the PUB modernization program of the Duterte government. Modernization programs means changing the way we take public transport. Now, uh, the PUB modernization offer a mode of transportation where the passenger ride in a very comfortable, very eco-friendly, and very convenient modern PUBs. At the same time, for the jeepney drivers, instead of the previously, they just uh, drive the jeepneys using the boundary system. Now, all jeepney drivers or PUB drivers will have fixed salary, they will have social security, they will have um, medical care, and they will be earning a good number of take-home pay every day. The reason why we're here in Nambacolo is that we are finally bringing in our new NLR77 PUB. We still have the QKR77 PUB, but with the NLR77 PUB, we are bringing our corporate image of the PUB, meaning the whole face of the PUB now, NLR PUB, have the Isuzu brand image. We are now maintaining the grill, the headlamp, the bumper, the whole cab, of the modern NLS 77 platform, but it still has the same 4GH1 turbocharged common rail direct injection Europort engine that we use on the QKR 77 that delivers um, 106 PS and maximum Newton torque of 230. More than enough to uh, carry more than 23 passengers as required by the PUB modernization program. The body that we are using right now is made by Santa Rosa, but we'll be coming up with body made by uh, Almasora and Centro. We will still continue participating in this uh, PUB caravan. After Bacolod, we'll be going to Dumaguete, and then uh, Cebu, and then uh, Bohol, and then uh, I think Ormoc, and Tagbilaran, and then some, some summer cities. This will be the final stop of the Visayas leg and then we will continue. The Southern Luzon leg will be the port leg. We will start probably in uh, Legaspi, Naga, all the way to Quezon and some uh, Laguna, Batangas. And finally, the culminating activities will be at PTEX in Manila. That's going to be a, one of the biggest events because uh, finally we have completed the whole Philippines uh, PUB caravan and have showcased the modern jeepneys all over the Philippines and uh, more or less convinced our Filipinos to embrace modernization and the Filipino riding public to know the comfort of being inside the modern PUBs. Again, we'd like to invite your televiewers and cooperatives to uh, join us in this caravan. Also, your televiewers, uh, those cooperatives that are looking for dependable, durable, and fuel-efficient PUBs, just visit our 42 dealership around the Philippines. Uh, we have trained sales executives that will explain to you the modern features of the modern PUBs. Also, you can actually have book a test drive and uh, see for yourself 
why the modern Isuzu PUBs are the best PUBs in town. Currently, we're here in uh, Clean Fuel Dagat Dagatan. Ito yung most recent station na, na binuksan natin. But in, in the next two months, we're opening uh, five more stations. After itong Dagat Dagatan station, we're opening uh, Clean Fuel Mayon. And then we'll go, go down south naman, Lemery, Batangas, Calaca, Batangas. And then uh, meron pa tayo isa dito sa Bagumbong in, uh, in Caloocan. The reason why we opened, we decided to put up main fuel dagat dagatan is madami tayong customers, mga, mga truckers. Yung, yung sa mga stasyon natin sa Pilinsa, madaming mga truckers na nagpapakarga. And they would always ask, wala-wala uh, ba tayong stasyon na malapis sa Pierre? So nung nakita namin yung uh, lugar na ito, we thought that uh, later on, this would be an ideal location to put up a clean fuel station. Dahil uh, most of the trucks na going and coming from the pier in pass dagat dagatan and we all know itong uh, kalookan area talaga is, uh, is an industrial hub so we wanted to cater to yung mga commercial vehicles commercial both commercial and private vehicles within uh, the area yan yung rason kung bakit natin pinili yung dagat dagatan in uh, greater metro manila this is uh, the 59th station that we have, and as, uh, as I mentioned, we're constructing five more in different uh, stages of construction. All our stations are uh, company-owned. Wala tayong station operated by a franchisee. We're very confident with our uh, business model. That's why sabi nga namin, at this point, that we're growing the brand, making sure that it, it's accepted by the motorist. Gusto namin kami muna yung mag-alaga. We'll make it very comfortable for our customers and for the motorists out there na pag pumunta sila sa clean fuel, hindi lang sila. They don't only get cheap quality fuel, but they could also use nice facilities. Yung Motul kasi has a long history of providing quality oil, not only for ordinary vehicles, but also for supercars, for racing cars. So naisip namin, dahil nga ang direksyon namin is is to provide not only quality fuel, but we also want to provide other quality products. So, naisip namin, we'll go partner with Motul. Dahil uh, Motul has been known in the industry for providing quality oil. So, sabi namin, naisip namin, ito yung pinakamagandang combination na may bigay namin sa motorista. We'd like to invite all our loyal clean fuel motorists and of course the other car owners out there, vehicle owners out there. Punta ho kayo dito sa clean fuel dagat dagatan, try the, the clean fuel, uh, quality fuel. We will enjoy not only quality fuel, but of course affordable fuel na for, for everyone.